Hey everybody, I'm Maria Hinojosa and I'm the founder of Futuro Media. Welcome to our offices here in Harlem. In 2010, I created my own nonprofit media company. I wanted to have a newsroom that felt like the new American majority and reported from this perspective and made people like me feel included and represented in the media. We produce digital, audio, television, web, all of it, and we have won quite a few awards, including a Pulitzer. And we're training the next generation of journalists to go out there in the world and do this work with respect, with dignity, with heart, with corazón. I'm Julio Ricardo Varela, president of Futuro Media. Our work is grounded in innovative storytelling and rigorous journalism that centers Latino and Latina, Black, Indigenous, and immigrant voices. The audiences we reach have been historically ignored by American journalism. I'm gonna act as if I'm documented. I'm going to speak as if I was documented. As a Republican, it's been an uphill battle. If you're white, you're a racist. And if you're black, you're a sellout. And we are trendsetters in the media landscape. Illegals is not a noun. A you can say it is an system. immigrant living illegally. But what you cannot do is to label a person illegal. I'm Fernanda Santos, editorial director. I oversee the Futuro Media newsroom. We produce multimedia content, including radio and podcast series. From Futuro Media and PRX, it's Latino USA. I'm Maria Hinojosa. Latino USA, our flagship show, is the longest running Latino news and cultural program on public radio. We're actually celebrating our 30th anniversary in 2023. We offer in-depth English language coverage of Latino communities on issues including history, politics, current events. Tapachula, Mexico, on the border of Guatemala, has come to be called the open-air prison because so many people are just stuck here, migrants and refugees. And the scenes of humanity and also fear are very present. Hey, I'm Noor Saudi. I'm lead producer of In the Thick. It's a podcast about politics, race, and culture hosted by Marina Jose and Julio Ricardo Varela. In 2020, Adweek named us the Diversity Inclusion Podcast of the Year, and we were also a Webby honoree for News and Politics Podcast. When Latinos have tried to achieve entrance into America through proximity to whiteness, it has always backfired on us. We as parents need to ensure that we are modeling anti-racist behavior because particularly for younger kids, the messages that they're receiving from their parents are largely nonverbal. And I feel that it's actually the collusion of market and government forces that decide who dies and who lives. Hey, this is Hector Luis Alamo, senior editor of Latino Rebels. We are a trailblazing digital outlet that covers breaking news, politics, arts, and culture across the United States and Latin America. We engage communities that are multilingual with over a thousand stories published on our platform every year. We also produce this podcast, Latino Rebels Radio, hosted by Julio Ricardo Varela, which was nominated for Best Multicultural Podcast at the iHeart Radio Podcast Award. This industry is plagued with retaliation and it preys on, unfortunately, on vulnerable populations and children are particularly vulnerable. We are now experimenting with video projects. My name is Juan Bago, and I had a mission to get people in my community to try new things. ¿Qué pasa con yoga? No me pregunté nada de eso, que me estoy desayunando. The most dangerous voice in America right now is apathy. Cynicism and nihilism are cheap and lazy, and we need people to have hope and optimism to fight fascism. I'm Marlon Bishop, Vice President of Podcasts. I head up Futuro Studios, which creates podcast series that uplift original voices to tell riveting stories that make meaning of the world. In our dual language work, we try to seamlessly transition from English to Spanish without overdubbing our subjects, but rather letting their voices be heard. I'm Maria Garcia, Executive Editor for Futuro Studios. I'm also the host of Anything for Selena, named Newcomer of the Year by Apple Podcasts and one of the best podcasts of the year by The Atlantic and multiple publications. Other acclaimed Futuro Studios podcasts include Suave, about the failures of our criminal justice system and one man's life after his release from prison. Distributed by PRX, it won the Pulitzer Prize for audio reporting in 2022. Suave is a new podcast about the system that sentences kids to life in prison. It's told through one man's journey of incarceration, redemption, and an unusual relationship between a journalist and a man convicted of murder. 
La Brega, a dual language series produced in partnership with WNYC in English and Spanish about the history, the music, and the struggles of Puerto Rico and its diaspora. It was named one of the top 10 podcasts of the year by The New Yorker and The New York Times. There's an expression Puerto Ricans use all the time, estar en la brega. We use it to describe how we're feeling, what we're doing, and for many, it's another way of saying the struggle, Rina del Hoso. grinding. The Sum of Us, in which author Heather McGee embarks on a road trip across the United States to unearth stories of cross-racial solidarity produced for Spotify in partnership with Higher Ground Audio. Some people say we should fear our growing diversity. Some say we should cheer it. But I want to introduce you to people who are living in the America that's becoming and showing us what it takes to make it work. Idolo, the ballad of Chalino Sanchez, produced in partnership with Sonoro Media, it won two Ambi Awards. He is widely considered the first narco corrido superstar. Its lyrics celebrate the exploits of drug traffickers and gunfighters. But Chalino didn't just sing about cartels, shootouts, and revenge. He lived it. Un asesinato que es un misterio sin resolver. Loud, the history of reggaeton, produced with Spotify Studios about the irresistible musical culture that has kept the world dancing for decades. It started the way most great movements start, in las calles, in the streets. They were Panamanians having fun, but they were also creating a new sound. Encendiendo una generación, a whole new generation of kids ready to make something fresh, something beautiful, something loud. And The Last Cup, produced in partnership with NPR in both English and Spanish. I'm going to tell you the story of one of the best soccer players that has ever lived. And it's Messi! And it's this is a different kind of sports story. It's about what it means to leave home and whether or not you can ever really go back. I am Benilei Ramirez, and I am the executive producer of Futuro Investigates and Futuro Unidad Hinojosa. We are the only Latina-led investigative unit in the United States dedicated to issues that matters to communities of color, including Latino communities. With Maria Hinojosa, I co-host the dual language podcast USA versus Garcia Luna, tributed by Lemonada Media. The most powerful Mexican government official ever to face trial in the U.S. We are here to tell you why he matters and how his story connects the U.S. government, the war on drugs, and millions of dollars from U.S. taxpayers. We are also tackling multimedia and video stories. No matter what you look like, who you love, who you worship, you should be treated fairly and equally by the system. And we have been producing a film about the recent massacre in Uvalde, Texas, along with PBS Frontline. We got lots of incidents going for her. You know, the one place where she was supposed to have been safe and she wasn't. I'm Yolanda Moore. I am the Vice President of Admin and Operations for Futuro Media. As you all may be aware, nonprofit newsrooms in the U.S. are majority white and led by executives that are 81% white. We are doing something different at Futuro Media. Our staff is 89% people of color, 74% women and non-binary individuals, and 58% first or second generation immigrants. I'm Deepa Dande, board chair. It is precisely because our newsroom reflects the communities that we cover that our extraordinary journalism reflects our everyday lives and lived experiences. We believe that excellence in journalism is defined first and foremost by authentic storytelling and with a commitment to ensure that communities have a say in telling their story. I'm Stacy Parker Lamel, Director of Development and Marketing for Futuro Media. We are deeply proud that our total reach for 2022 surpassed 14 million. We experience daily the loyalty and commitment of our community, Futuro listeners who welcome new work from us because it comes from Futuro creators. Our listeners trust what we do. As a nonprofit, our work is made possible by tax-deductible donations from generous individuals and prestigious grant-making organizations. To become a supporter, please visit us at futuromediagroup.org backslash donate. And we offer numerous advertising and underwriting opportunities on our podcast feeds. Support for Latino USA comes from Angie, dedicated to helping homeowners tackle home projects. And on our web properties, 
So some of the opportunities include pre-rolls, mid-rolls, post-rolls, custom web advertising, social media posts, post-red ads, it's all there. So if you're interested in advertising opportunities, all you gotta do is email me, julio at futuromediagroup.org. The Futuro difference is real. You know who feels it? Our audiences. They love it. There's not one time when I'm not out in public that somebody doesn't see me and say, oh my God, your journalism changed my life. And they cry in my arms. That's the kind of impact that our humanizing journalism has. So thank you for supporting Futuro Media and our journey ahead. And remember, no te vayas.